<laughs> this is just a really, really, really cool demonstration, like, you know, looking for a place in your curriculum. And of course, if I'm going to show you soap films, I'm talking about hydrogen bonding. Why not? Okay? And that's what makes these soap films do all the spectacular things they do. And what am I even talking about? Well, I'm talking about the fact that if I take, this is just a little wire loop and stick it in, this is just full of soapy water. And please don't ask me my recipe. I fill the water in, I squirt the, the Dawn in. Um, that bottle was full and now it's that full. Okay? So that's my recipe. Okay? Look at how the soap film likes to be flat. If I try to make it unflat, it says, no, I want to be flat. Soap films like to be as small as possible. Minimal surface area. Hmm. That's kind of obvious for this, it'd be a flat surface, but what about some crazy screwy shape like this? <laughs> and that was just random me playing with a piece of wire, okay? This is actually some mathematical problem here. You could plug all these points into a computer and have it come out with the best way to cover this frame. And it would take even a supercomputer maybe months to solve, and yet my highly intelligent soapy water does it like that. Now, don't go swapping out your supercomputers for some soapy water, because that's all this stuff does. But it's still impressive that there's actually some films there that don't need to be there. It's just some cool shapes, some curvy linear shapes there. And I think you've probably all seen this, but the students haven't. And I think, it, you know, these are frames I've made. These are coffee stirs and twist ties. So these are very cheap, <laughs> okay? Coffee stirs and little, like, baggy twist ties. And what shape is this? Pyramid? It's a triangular pyramid that has a special name. It's a tetrahedron, right? Students will say triangle, but you can remind them that triangle is just this flat surface. And what will this do if I dip it in there? Well, certainly I dip this as one face. I get a nice flat little triangle there. That's not very spectacular. I think if I dip the whole thing in there, I'll just have a bunch of triangular faces. And I don't know how well this is showing up, but maybe the camera can zoom in on this. Um, is that showing up there? It's all me in the center. It's a nice little point. Okay? And I could dip it in halfway again and get a little bubble that's kind of spherical, kind of pyramidal, it's spheromidal. Okay? <laughs> if I pop it, a oh, erase over here to the side. You usually get a little small one there. Okay? Pop him and there, little tiny guy just emerged in the middle there. Okay? By the way, that's the shape of CH4, methane. See this guy here? Again, I'm not sure if that's showing up very well, but I'm getting right there. Ethane, two carbons, both tetrahedrally arranged with little hydrogens coming out. If you're not seeing it, you know what? Go home and make these and do it yourself because it's, you do not want to miss this. <laughs> A cube. How many people have seen, by the way, soap films like this on frames? Relatively few of you. Okay, this has been around since like 1890. A guy named C.V. Boys wrote a book on this. No, this is not new, I mean, come on. They're spectacular, they're just, students just, they really get excited about this. Um, what's this gonna do? The tetrahedron met at a point, the triangular prism met at a line. This goes, it takes it one further, whoops. And these all meet at a plane in the center. My wind, my air currents are blowing, but there's a square there. If I dip this in there again, I can get a little, it's not a cube, it's not a sphere, it's a sphube. <laughs> like also, it's like one of those old-fashioned TV sets, like, hey, look, I'm on TV. <laughs> not flat screen, the old ones, okay? Here's a great shape. Look at this. It's a spiral, rod down the middle, and a string. Not the string, but this, or this other thing was in C.V. Boyce's book. Soap films and the forces that form them, or something like that. Oh, I get a nice little corkscrew shape. Again, I don't know how well that's showing up. But watch this. I can pop the dry finger, part of it, and then that little tiny film, whoop, did I lose it? No, I didn't. That little film there can be unzipped or zipped, whatever, all the way out to cover the entire frame again. All kinds of fun stuff you can do with 
some soap films. In C.V. Boyce's book, he talks about the film that forms between two rings. Um, and that's not the one. I use it anyway. Okay. So what kind of a ring can I, so film will form between two rings? Well, you think a cylinder, right? It's a cylinder for a while, but then it starts to pinch off in the middle because that's a minimal surface area until it eventually does that. You can, if you want, blow some air in there to make it a cylinder. Now I put my hand over the top. I got my two liter soda bottle back there. In Hawaii, they call this the hula bubble. <laughs> All kinds of fun stuff. Um, I've got to show this one. Slinky. This one I think you'll be able to see even in the back because of what it's going to do. If I take this, well, this part you might not, but hold on a second. And there's a wonderful, it's like a dryer vent, that plastic of that. I'm going to pop down here, and if you watch that, you can actually see the film pop. But I'm going to slow that down for you. How, you ask? Where's my little cutoff pipe pet from over here? There it is. I'm going to take and blow a little bubble down here. Whoop. And then I'm going to pop, dry it off my finger here, just below that bubble. Did I lose the bubble? I lost the bubble. Let me try it again. Can we zoom in on this right here? There we go. Drying off my finger, my thumb. There we go. That's really slowed down. It's a little tiny bubble. See him climbing up? <laughs> Taking his time. There he goes. He's going a little faster now. Isn't that fun? That's the receding soap film. Again, hydrogen bonds pulling those water molecules in tight. Okay. <laughs>